<laughs> that man is in danger. We must go to his aid. Not unless you want to carry those claws home in a bag. <laughs> huh? Don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah! Huh? Fabulous! So fierce! Fierce doesn't even begin to describe it. You were ferocious! <laughs> Can it be? Can it truly, truly be? Truly? Truly, truly? It is! I think it really is! Darling, it's so wonderful to see you! Oh, I thought you were lost to me forever. Um, you two are acquainted? And uh, w what is it that you do, exactly? Oh, come now. Isn't it obvious? We're fighting an epic battle to bring back something the world has lost! <laughs> it's Smile! That's right, darlings! We're on a quest to bring sunshine and laughter back to every corner of this drab, drab world! My little parade has picked up quite the cavalcade of warriors for wondrousness! Aren't they just so much fun? But never mind that now. I can't believe you're alive. It's a miracle. I thought I'd never see you again. E excuse me? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry I forgot all about you. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? No, no, I am not. Thanks to you. You are more strong than you appear. My name is Da. I come from Phnom in the south. And if it were not for your help, I would not be returning there. Thank you. Oh, you're heading home. Then we'd better go with you. Can't have you getting attacked again now, can we? Hmm? Listen, darling, you and me have got a lot to talk about. So what do you say you join the parade for a little while, huh? Come on. You know you want to. Oh, yay! I'm so excited. Okay, time for you to take your first steps as a soldier of the smile-spreading special forces. Here, put these on. No. Oh. You look even more adorable than I thought you would. So proud. All right, boys. Let's make our newest recruit feel right at home. He's an old friend of mine, after all. <laughs> Lead on, darling! And don't let me cut you frowning. You're at the head of the world's premier gladness-bringing parade! All right. Let's get out there and make the world smile! And... Shimmy!
And here we are at our destination, the beautiful, bustling tourist town of Nom Nom. Oh, not here too. Uh, the whole world is just so dreary these days. Um, thank you for saving me. I... I must go now. I wonder what can have made him venture so far from home in the first place. Might it have something to do with why the town is so quiet? Sounds like a job for Sylph's detective agency. Leave this to me. Agents of happiness, soldiers of smile, go spread some special parade cheer and find out what's going on around here. <laughs> Why can I not shake the feeling that Silvando and I have met somewhere before? You are okay. You are not hurt. Oh, what a relief. I was fearing the worst for you, especially after little son has gone missing, you know. Your boy is missing. Oh, honey. Ugh. Where that selfish child chooses to go is none of my concern. You must forgive him. His wife died recently, you know, and now his son has gone missing. It is very hard for him. Do you know of the monster Avarith? She appeared in the village with her foul friends soon after Yggdrasil fell and the darkness came. We were paralyzed with fear and could not run away. Then she gathered us all in the square. Give me your valuables, she said. Tell me what is most precious to you. I will protect it. People were so scared, they obeyed her without thinking. They gave her money, husbands, wives, even children. But the wicked creature lied to us. She did not protect the things we gave to her. No, she took them and ran away. Oh, that's just awful. Oh, if there's one thing I hate, it's dirty, rotten liars. Don't worry, honey. We're going to get all your stuff back. All of it. Really? But Avarith is very strong, very powerful. Oh, it'll take more than a common thief to stop me. I won't let you down. You know what they say, a knight's word is his bond. A knight? Avarith went south with everything she stole. She has a lair there, I think. Then let's get after her. We've got an evildoer to punish. Parade looks fun. Where are you going? Hi there, little one. We're just off to hunt down the horrible, nasty monster who's been kidnapping people from the village. Is your father named Da by any chance? Hmm. So you were not abducted. And what are you doing in such a dangerous place? Your father is worried about you. <clears throat> My father does not care for me. He cares for my mother's necklace more than anything else. He told the monster so. I thought he would say I was the most precious thing to him. It made me very sad. So I decided to follow the monster and get the necklace back for him. Then he will see that I am worth something. But then I strayed too far from the village and became scared. So I stopped here to hide. What your father said was upsetting, I am sure. But this is no place for a child. Come, we will return you to the village. No! If you are going after the monster, I am coming with you. I have to get my mother's necklace back! <sighs> oh, don't be 
such a spoil sport, Henry. We'll look after the little darling. And besides, he'll be safer with us than out here on his own. Very well. But the boy is your responsibility. Thank you! Thank you! I will be useful to you, I promise! The monster went that way. There is a cave on the cape where she is hiding. You heard him, everybody! Let's go teach that dirty bandit a lesson! Now this is a surprise! Not many humans wander in here of their own accord. Avarice, you fiend! You are going to give back what you've taken and let all the people of the village go! And you are going to do it now! <laughs> so that is why you are here! You humans and your heroic nonsense! Still, I suppose you have shown a lot of courage coming here. Very well. Let's say I do give everything back. It's not going to happen for free. You're going to have to give me something to sweeten the deal. Hmm. How about... Your most valued possession! That seems like a fair trade, wouldn't you say? Wait! If you wish to make a deal, fiend, you must make it with me. I have something for you. Something soft and warm and fragrant. Something I just know you are going to love. Oh, what is it? What is it? It sounds amazing! I have to see it right now! Hand it over! Hand it over! With pleasure! I do hope it brings you joy. Let me see! Let me see! Ugh! What is that awful smell? Kind of joke! Oh, don't you like it, honey? I chose it especially for you! <laughs> You'll pay for this! Avarice will not be mocked by a silly, dumb-cup, little human! Maybe this will teach you a lesson! Bother begging for mercy. Your lives are mine now, and I'm not giving them back.
socks off. was never in doubt. Son and the others back to the village in style. Come, darlings, your parade awaits. You take your time, honey. We'll be having all kinds of fun. Ciao for now. Hello, Father.
I brought Mother's necklace back from the lair of the beast for you. But it, it is broken. You, you did what? Foolish child! Oh. Hmm? Huh? You... You could have been killed. And then where would I be, hmm? Without you, my most treasured possession. <laughs> said that Mother's necklace was your most treasured possession. I said it, but I did not mean it. How could I? Don't you see? I did not trust the monster, so I said a lie. I lied because I wanted to protect you. But really I, I... I thought you did not care about me. I... I'm so sorry. You must have been so worried. <laughs> to think it was all but a misunderstanding. If only he and his father had simply been honest with one another. Yes, if only. <clears throat> I'll see you both outside, okay? Ah, Father, these are my new friends. They are the ones who rescued everybody. Oh. <clears throat> I cannot thank you enough. You are true heroes. Searching for some, but I had to pretend that I did not care in case the monster came back and realized that I had lied. I hope you understand. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Where is my friend with the feathers? I wanted to say thank you. Silvando left for us suddenly. Perhaps we should go and look for him. Only he and his father had simply been honest with one another. <gasps> ah, you scared me! How long have you been standing there? Ah, never mind. It... It was nice to see Son reunited with his father, huh? But there are some who will never be reunited with their loved ones. Some bridges that will never be repaired. Can I ask you something? Mordegon is... he's super powerful, right? Powerful enough to destroy our world. You've seen that power for yourself, but you still want to fight him, don't you? You really are a hero, huh? You know, I thought it was enough, traveling the world, trying to put smiles back on people's faces. But what good is a smile here and there if the Lord of Shadows could snatch it away at any moment? What I'm saying is... I have to leave my beloved parade and come with you. It's the only way. But there's something I want you to help me with first. It's all well and good me going and getting my head squished by Mordegon. But I can't do that to my darling boys. So we have to leave them somewhere safe. With somebody who can look after them. Now... I know just the place and just the person, but... Well, there's no good way of saying this. I'm petrified of seeing him. So you have to come with me. You will, won't you, darling? Oh, thank you. I knew you'd say yes. Okay, I'm going to go break the news to my little soldiers of Smile. Meet me outside the village, all right? <laughs> 